Dear brothers and sisters, uh, today I want to say uh, how the devil is uh, trying to deceive the Orthodox Christians. And uh, for him this is the greatest prize, the greatest success. Because those who are united with the body of Christ, they uh, have the promises and they have this uh, right way of uh, entering into the kingdom of heaven and basically they are the presence of the God in this world because uh, they are his witnesses so uh, deceiving them will deprive this world of the truth and uh, of even of the hope of salvation and as a matter of fact uh, uh, there is no salvation outside the church and uh, the Orthodox Church and other denominations uh, who believe in Jesus they uh, have a chance to be saved only the, the, those people there uh, they have a chance to be saved only if they pursue the uh, uh, truth which is in the Orthodox Church so they become catechumens Okay, this is another question. Today I want uh, to say about um, how the devil is hacking the Orthodox. And uh, as a matter of fact, other Christians also, other uh, heterodox. Um, I defined, uh, I identified uh, at least 10 uh, of those hacking points. And um, it's quite scary uh, how the devil is using the uh, true ideas, the, the true Christian faith, the, uh, and through this he is deceiving, he is uh, putting his own another meaning and another uh, conclusion. Okay? Uh, we see that if he was trying to deceive even Christ by using the Holy Scripture in the desert. Okay? Uh, so he is, uh, he is very smart. Because usually we think that the danger comes from what? The danger comes from outright sin that I commit, or it comes from some something outside of the church. It comes from other heresies, or uh, uh, some uh, sects, or some uh, philosophies, something outside the church. But what's inside the church, it's all good. But today we'll see that uh, this is not as uh, simple as it sounds. And uh, this, this common conflict and this uh, split in the Orthodox Church that we have uh, now <clears throat> with, be, between different Orthodox uh, is partly a reason, uh, uh, th that's partly the reason for that, okay? Uh, because we see that the, the devil is trying to deceive even the chosen ones. In the Gospel uh, Matthew chapter 24 and uh, uh, Mark chapter 13 is telling us about this okay uh, for example we take chapter 24 verse 24 uh, Matthew for there shall arise false Christs and fa false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible if possible not if it were if possible they shall deceive the very elect so uh, he is trying to the as to the extent he, he can do that to the extent possible to deceive the elect, and uh, I can tell you that he is successful on many occasions. Okay, so uh, how is he doing that? Uh, well, before we get into it, I want to also quote uh, uh, Peter, uh, the first epistle of Peter chapter 5 verse 8 the Lord is saying be sober uh, the Apostle Peter is, is saying to, to, to the reader be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour whom resist steadfast in the faith you must resist steadfast in the faith. 
knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Uh, well, uh, we see that the Apostle Peter says, um, uh, you steadfast in the faith. Actually, the original the Greek is telling us uh, uh, fight against. The, the, the word there is more not just to be against or like uh, stop. No, it's more uh, uh, the word which is used in the in the war. The word uh, that's uh, okay, um, okay, uh, be against. Okay, uh, do the fight. Okay, so uh, he doesn't say escape or just ignore or just forget about this. No, he say uh, he says be steadfast and uh, face it and fight with it okay so this is our um, uh, aim and people who say uh, like the protestants say no relax hallelujah you're justified hallelujah uh, okay no 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 relaxation if you want to be a christian there will be no time for relaxation for you you will not relax okay because you need to withstand the devil and the evil both inside and in this world um, so let us um, uh, let us see what he is saying. Uh, what what the devil is is saying. Uh, well, the first thing that he is using, especially we see it now in the war, that uh, um, life is not the greatest value. For the Christians, there are things which are more important than life. And uh, and people who uh, who throw others to go to war, they uh, use the words of Christ that there is no greater love than uh, to uh, give over your life for your friend. So you take uh, a gun and you go kill people, and this is love. Okay, this is the conclusion. So many people tell, uh, say, say to me, you know, uh, to avoid going to war, it's like uh, going against uh, Christian faith. Because Christian faith tells you that uh, life is not the most important. You, you see how, how distorted, how sick this becomes. Okay? No matter for what reason, okay, uh, kill your brother, just, uh, just because uh, your life is worthless, basically. Your life is, uh, you don't, don't worry about your life. There are tasks which are more important. Of course there are, but not this one. Not the one that you want me to die for. Okay, I will die for Christ, if, if I have to. But not for some uh, political agenda or something else. Uh, and not for Antichrist to build his new world order. Okay, this is one. Uh, another one which he's using is uh, he's saying who is uh, he's using the words of Christ uh, who said that uh, who is not against you is for you is on your side so they say you see there are two sides and they put it in, in, uh, backwards they say uh, who is not with you he is against you okay so if there are two sides to both conflict to, to these both big wars now we have uh, russia ukraine where there is um, or you can say russia nato or russia us i i don't know how you put it uh, or there is the israel palestine or uh, israel and arabs okay uh, so you have to be on one side you are on this side the truth the blessing and everything else is on your side and others are from the devil, they are uh, satanists, they are whatever, okay, they bring uh, darkness and, and, and they are not humans, okay, so just, uh, just kill, it's, it's demons, uh, okay, it's worse than beasts. So uh, this, uh, he's using this, he's twisting it to divide and conquer, okay. And people are brainwashed and they don't understand, so when they see somebody doesn't agree, uh, they say, oh, you're from the other camp. If you're not with us, you're again. Uh, okay? So we see how uh, the devil can brainwash people. 
Another thing which is common in the Orthodox uh, uh, world, uh, they say, uh, well, uh, uh, you see, Christ, he established the church, so we are saved as a church, not individually. So uh, 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 your individual understanding is, uh, is from the devil. Just do what everybody else does. Okay, we have one mind, we have, uh, okay, so if everybody goes, you need to follow. Everything else is your, your uh, you know, uh, it comes from your brain, from your sinful mind, and uh, just, just uh, get rid of it. Comply. Uh, solidarism. And we had it in the French uh, Revolution, in, uh, we had it uh, many times. Okay, uh, not only in the Orthodox world. And basically what it is, they, they are trying to use uh, Christian theology, Orthodox theology, but what it actually is, is this uh, herd, um, uh, herd uh, instinct. Okay, so people are happy. No, I, I don't have to think. Great, great, somebody will think for me. I don't have to take responsibility for what I do. Great, okay. I I am I am safe because whatever I do is because somebody else uh, told me. So I I don't. This is a very uh, irresponsible, lazy uh, world. Okay, so people are happy to to do that. M many people, and they use this uh, orthodox theology to replace, to 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 explain, to justify this mindset, and. Um, Basically, they are hacked and they become like this herd of swine which uh, were demon possessed and they were thrown by these demons into the precipice and died in the sea, which were choked. They, they all choked in the sea. So, uh, this is what the devil is doing and he is trying to use uh, the Christian teaching for that. Um, Everybody will have his own responsibility for what he's done or what he hasn't. Uh, we find great many um, uh, passages in the uh, Bible uh, to, uh, to show us that. Uh, another thing that he's using uh, is um, from Apostle Paul who said uh, that all um, authority is from God. So he says, you see, those authorities the government, those policies, it's all from the God. If we have bad government, that's because our sins, so we just have to uh, comply. And uh, uh, this is also a uh, wrong understanding, because Apostle Paul is telling us about authority in the sense that uh, there is authority in a family, uh, that uh, there is a head of family and others respect him and there is uh, this uh, mutual sacrifice and there is there used to be this in the countries where there was hierarchy uh, not of power and domination but uh, of uh, mutual respect and trust and love but this was all destroyed so uh, what we have now is uh, anti-authority uh, we have uh, anti-elite elite and which are not responsible which they don't care they just use uh, this this uh, power to uh, to uh, rule and to 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 get some benefits from what they do uh, and um, this uh, and even uh, families they become they don't have this authority about which apostle paul says they become just Okay, your rights, my rights, uh, okay, your responsibilities, my responsibilities, this is like partnership or a contract. And in, in the uh, society, we have, say, social contract, which is all, uh, okay, it's, it's not love, it's not uh, authority uh, which is from God. So people reject that authority which is from God. So it's all perverted, it's all wrong now. And then uh, another uh, place where they uh, like this point of hacking is uh, belief into the providence of God. And people say, whatever we have, we have war, we have uh, 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 epidemics, we have some uh, okay, hunger, famine, it all comes from God. 
it's all in the uh, providence of God. He, he has this plan for it. So we should not do anything, okay? We just receive it, okay? Because of our sins, because of other, our reason, other reasons, but uh, we, uh, we just uh, receive it because it, this is supposed to happen. Things which uh, it's already written by the prophets in uh, the re revelation, so it's just happening in the way it should happen. So we don't do anything. Well, this is a belief in uh, predestination, which is uh, not orthodox. It's also belief in fortune, which is uh, like a, a pagan goddess and agnostic and uh, Buddhist, okay, this uh, uh, sansara. And uh, this, is, this has uh, nothing to do with uh, true Christianity. But many people will believe that. Uh, another, another problem that the uh, Orthodox we have <clears throat> is that uh, they say just uh, formal, uh, formally receiving something is enough. Uh, and, uh, and in this way we slip into Catholicism and Protestantism, which is uh, legalism. It's just some legal uh, understanding about God and salvation. Okay, I cannot go too deep into it, but in the Orthodox world, uh, it has uh, this. Uh, um, it's, it's done this way. They say, uh, "Well, uh, you have to be baptized. You have to before you die, you need to confess and receive Holy Communion. If you do these things, don't worry. You'll get. You'll go to heaven. Everything will be fine. Okay, this is formalism. Okay." You have to be canonical, you have not to be in the split, you have your bishop, you're canonical, don't worry. You have this link to God, it's fine, it's uh, weather proof, so don't worry. Well, this uh, is a heresy, because um, uh, if your heart doesn't have Christ, if you did not put on Christ, no matter what you do, sacraments, liturgy, uh, confession it will not help okay we had uh, so many revolutionaries who were uh, uh, who were uh, children of priests and they went to uh, to school to Sunday school and then they killed massive number of people and when they were asked why you do that, they, uh, didn't you read the gospel, and the, which says to love people? They said, no, we didn't never read it. We just kiss the, the, the book in the church. We need just kiss it and that's it. That's our uh, relationship with the gospel. So this formality, this uh, okay, ritual is fine. Okay, uh, people say, oh, this is everything. Because it's tradition, so we just, we just go by tradition and uh, don't worry about uh, the rest. So this, this brings us to this formalism, which is the uh, same as uh, Catholic and Protestant. Legalistic. Different shape, different form, but it's also legalism. It's like opere operato in uh, Catholic Church and justification in the Protestant, which is all about legalism. God is just judge who just looks at some formal things and uh, that's how you are saved so um, let us uh, let us overcome uh, these things uh, let us know that this is uh, these are just some I, I have at least 10 here but uh, it's just gonna make it too long if you're interested I can record I can uh, talk more about other uh, these uh, points of uh, breakage points of hacking okay uh, how the devil is putting spiritual viruses and the, the reason for success is that uh, people uh, on a daily basis, they don't uh, change, they don't, uh, they have a sinful life. And when you have a sinful life, you don't fast, okay? you don't have uh, ascetic, uh, uh, ascetic life. Your mind and your heart will be darkened and you are easy to be deceived. That's how they, they, they uh, hack Orthodox Christians. Maybe, may we be vigilant, may we keep the guard and uh, have uh, the wisdom of Christ, the true love, the, 
the blessing and guidance from him so that we can avoid all these deception and all these uh, arrows all these uh, uh, okay, uh, traps that are made by devil against the chosen uh, ones children of Christ I mean may the Lord be with you and with your families your friends I mean